Well, I'm here with members of Camp TURF, which stands for Tomorrow's Undergraduates Realizing the Future. And this is a camp through extension that was designed for high school students who would be the first generation of their families to attend college. This week they've been looking at all different aspects of horticulture, including arboriculture, public horticulture, vegetable production, and today they're going to help me demonstrate how to propagate from a softwood cutting. Okay, so a cutting is one way to propagate a plant and propagation is to reproduce asexually, so without producing seeds. And there's different ways to take cuttings. Uh, we could take cuttings from the woody tissue of the stem, which is older, and this is called a hardwood cutting. And you can also take cuttings from the newer growth and it's more succulent or soft, it doesn't have as woody of a stem. And this is a softwood cutting, and you can see it's a bit greener than the woody stems. Different plants respond differently to hardwood versus a softwood cutting, and if you have a plant that you're interested in propagating, you just want to research it and see what propagation technique works best for that species. So I have a mock orange, and these plants do very well with softwood cuttings. So I'm going to cut uh, one of the succulent green tips, and here's a nice piece here and I'm going to take a big cutting. We're going to go over to the table and I'll show you the next steps in propagating. Okay. Hello, my name is Corey Gilmore. My name is Jay Mitchell. My name is Julio Navarez. Hello, my name is Brooke Murray. Hey, I'm Dalton Porter. Hello, my name is Cody Sidham. Hello, I'm Justin. Hi, my name is Dalton Skeff. Hi, my name is Amy. Hi, I'm Michaela Nicole and Jackson. Hello, my name is Cammy Seguru. Hi, my name is Ryan Seaman. Hi, my name is JC. Hello, my name is Naila Brandywine. Brianna Harrison. Hi, my name is Cassie, and today I'm going to teach you how to propagate. My name is Pebbles, and I'm going to teach you how to propagate. Hi, my name is Gretchen Moore. I'm going to show you how to propagate. First, you want to take your clipping. You take your clipping. Any tree. I chose a crepe myrtle. And what we're going to do is you're going to cut from six to eight inches from the end of the plant. And you're going to peel off the bottom leaves. If there's any lower leaves, you strip those off. You can have a nice clean stem. Yeah, take them off. Slow them down. And then about two to three inches up the stem. Uh, next, you'll take the bark off the bottom here. Just cut a circle around it. And then for better access, you just cut a line down the middle, straight down, so it'll be easier for you to take it off. And then make a straight line to the end and strip that portion of the bark off. Make it nice and pretty and bald. So you have your soft, tender, exposed layer right here. And so next, we're gonna dip it in hormone powder. I mean, like in the wild, it does it naturally, but this kind of gives it like the added punch, you know? And then you stick it in the soil. Next, you will put it in your pot, which is already pre-watered. We're gonna stick it right here next to this stick so it can grow nice and straight up. But right after that, we cover it with a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out. And I know it's crazy, but it keeps the moisture inside. Because they don't have roots, so they don't get that moisture from the roots. And in about four to six weeks, it should have roots. Kind of put that up under there like that. Take your water, and you mist it periodically. And that's how you propagate. And that's how you propagate. And that's how you propagate. There you go. And that's how you propagate. And that's how you propagate. <laughs> And in about three weeks, your plants will have roots. And that's how you propagate. And that's how you propagate. <laughs> 